Hello, this video is titled Cultural Marxism, the Role of the Dupe. Are you a dupe? Well, the dupes are the arrogantly ignorant. There is more hope for fools, the scripture says, than for people who think they are wise. Also, we learn from the scriptures this, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Well, author Paul Kinger wrote the book Dupes. This book provides an astonishing history of how the most prone to indoctrination or being duped are college-educated, academics, government officials, and cultural elites, the so-called progressives, and cultural liberals as well. The subtitle is How America's Adversaries Have Manipulated Progressives for a Century. Paul Kinger shines the light on a deeply troubling aspect of American history, the prominent role of the dupe. From the Bolshevik Revolution through the Cold War and right up to the present, many progressives have unwittingly aided some of America's most dangerous opponents. Bella Dodd, quoting Alexander Trachtenberg, head of secret police and involved in CPUSA, said this, Trachtenberg once said to me that when communism came to America, it would come under the label of progressive democracy. It will come in labels acceptable to the American people. These would be benign labels like progressive, liberal, and democracy. He continued, When we get ready to take the United States, we will not take it under the label of communism. We will not take it under the label of socialism. These labels are unpleasant to the American people and have been speared too much. We will take the United States under labels we have made very lovable. We will take it under liberalism, under progressivism, and under democracy. But take it, we will. I mean, these people are seriously committed. Thomas Sowell, in writing the book Intellectuals in Society, said this, Elitists, who have been inflated with academic ideas and theories, think of themselves as morally superior and entitled to advance their idealisms by any means possible. He continued, This is also why intellectuals as a group are generally attracted to government as they perceive it. Government is a top-down institutional opportunity to bypass practical work. Actual work comes from the ground up in cooperation and compromise with others. Intellectuals, on the other hand, don't like that because they don't like to actually work or cooperate or compromise or do. They prefer to talk, divide, take, and imagine. And Thomas Sowell is writing this as a professor himself, so in making his observations, he's doing so from with inside the beast. Remember, the smart people know it all. Well, unfortunately, pastors and Christian leaders can become dupes. They have been lured in because of their desire to be liked, viewed as open-minded, indoctrinated into a different gospel that never engages the culture or worldview issues telling congregations what their tickling ears want to hear and not understanding the times, and the desire for personal peace and affluence. Well, as we've read already, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. One last thing as we wrap up, if you look at the Communist Party USA website, you'll see the word freedom plastered there. Well, just because someone says they are for freedom, do you believe them? Again, just because someone says they are for democracy, do you believe them? Well, the scriptures say the fool believes everything. It also says the way of a fool is right in his own eyes. It also says a fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinions. Are we fools? Are we dupes? Are you a dupe? My name is Craig Seibert. Thanks for considering these thoughts, and thanks for listening.